Hi, welcome to today's QGIS tutorial lesson 27. In this video, we will learn how to do a simple batch processing in QGIS. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so so that you can get a notification when I upload my next video. If you are new to my channel, you can follow all my previous videos and useful GIS tips from the links in the description below. Let's get started. So what is batch processing? Batch processing is a method of running high volume repetitive data jobs. The batch method allows users to process data when computing resources are available and with little or no user interface. So let's go to QGIS and look at today's exercise. I'm going to load some vector layers in QGIS. So I'm going to go to the layer, add layer, add vector layer, and I'm going to browse for where my data is, and I'm going to add African data. So I'm going to go to GIS folder, data. I have actually downloaded this data from a site I'm going to provide a link in the description below. So Africa. Then I'm going to first load the African country shape files. I'm going to just customize here to S shape file. Then now we are good to go. I'm going to select Africa, then open, then add. So I've actually added the African shape file. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add also another layer here, which is a line layer, and I'm going to add the Africa major roads. Then I'm going to click on close and those two layers are going to help us today in our exercise. So I have the African layer which is a polygon and I have the major roads which is a line. So what, what I want to do next is I want to, uh, you can actually see the layer of the roads is just one layer and it covers the whole of Africa. But my interest is I want to have the roads of each and every country separately. So. What I can do is I can run a simple task called clipping, but that means I'm going to clip uh, data for every region. Although now we have an option in QGIS whereby you can actually just clip them once without actually necessarily uh, clipping one by one by one by one. So what I'm going to do is we're going to learn how to use this batch process. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is you can see the African continent also. It is just having, it's just in one. Uh, shape file that has actually when you open the attribute table you will see that it's just has continuous data of all the African countries merged together so the first thing I want to do is I want us to split these uh, layers this layer so that it, each and every country has its own shape file so how do I do that so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to vector then I'm going to go to data management tools and then I'm going to scroll down to split vector layers because i want to split all these vector layers i'm going to select split vector layers then the input layer is africa then the unique id that i'm going to split using is the name of the african con country so it's actually the name column then the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to look at the output so for the output i'm going to leave it at your package you can actually save it into any other file format that you want like the shape file or the DBA file or the JSON file, but I'm going to just going to leave it to the job package. Then the output directory, I'm going to save it to a directory. I'm going to create actually a directory where I'm going to save now the split layer. So I'm going to create a new folder here in the Africa folder. And I'm going to call it Africa split. So I'm going to save all these into this directory called Africa split select folder then I'm going to run the process so I'm going to click on run and you can see it's running the process here and it's saving everything here so let's give it some time to finish this process the logarithm has finished so let's go and try to load these layers and see if it has actually split. So I'm going to go to layer, add layer, add vector layer. And remember that your package layers are going to browse for them. And you can see there is under the African split and you can see there's Algeria, Angola, Benin. So I'm just going to load the three of them first to see if, they, if it actually worked. Click on add. And I'm going to click on close. And you can see now 
they have actually been loaded you can actually see if i uncheck the african country i have now some of the split layers i mean i'm not going to actually load all of them then i just loaded a few of them so we are good to go now to the next step i'm going to remove them but i will remove the african and the major roads the major roads are actually taking a lot of time loading because you can actually see there are very very many roads so it takes quite a while to just load all of them at once so that's why we are going to split them into uh, the different countries so the next thing you want to do is you want to clip these uh, roads according to the regions that you've just created when we split the layer so that each and every country here has its own sets of roads so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go to a geoprocessing function called clipping so i'm going to go to vector then you're going to go to geoprocessing tool then i'm going to select clip in our initial exercise we were actually just using the parameter input here up here and actually creating uh, a clip from just the layers that are here but now we have so many layers and we want to run the process just once so what i'm going to do is we're going to run it as a batch process so on this uh, dialog box here on you will see this somewhere down on the bottom left written run as batch process so i'm going to select run as batch process then now there is a new uh, pop-up that appears so the pop-up has the input layer the overlay layer and the clipped which is the result so we need to do a lot of auto filling here so the first thing we, we, we need to do is we need to put our input layer our input layer in this case is uh, the, the major roads for the whole of africa so by default i'm going to actually select the major roads then in the overlay layer here there is just uh, below the overlay there is something called auto fill so we're going to select this uh, small arrow here and then we're going to add the files there are actually so many options here so we're going to add all files from a directory the directory that we created so i'm going to click on add all files from a directory then we're going to look for the directory remember where we put all the geo package layers so we're going to select the africa split then select the folder and then it will take a little bit of time just thinking about what you have put input there and it's populating it will actually populate all all those layers in and you can actually see there is the algeria starting and then angola then benin so it has actually just pulled all the uh, data that was in that folder here and you can see the input layer now has been autofill here actually the whole of the input layer is now the major roads now let's go to the next stage which is the which is the clipped so for this one i'm going to just uh, input the first one i'm going to click on these uh, three dots here and then i'm going to create a folder here called clipped rods I already have a folder here called clip rods so i'm going to select that folder open then within the clipped rod i'm going to save each and every file starting with the prefix clipped so clipped then underscore then it will have maybe like for example if it's algeria it will have clipped underscore algeria clipped underscore so different uh, countries will have uh, different uh, parameters here so i'm going to click on save and i'm going to save them as your package layers again and then the auto fill settings are here it actually pops up so the auto fill mode do not uh, the, by default it's drop of auto fill but i'm going to uh, select the drop down here and then i'm going to say you can actually fill it with numbers like number one two three four up to the whatever number of layers you have but i'm going to fill it with parameter values what I, what I mean with parameter values is these are the parameter values like algeria name underscore algeria name underscore angola so these will be the parameter values that will actually appear then what parameter i'm going to am i going to use i'm going to use this parameter here the overlay layer you can actually look here by default it's the input layer but i'm going to select the overlay layer then i'm going to click on okay so i'm going to fill with parameter values and then i'm going to select the overlay layers as the parameter that i'm going to fill it with then i'm going to click on okay and you will see now it has now out of field everything the way you want it so my result will be clipped underscore 
name underscore Algeria geo package clipped underscore name underscore Angola so it has just adopted the these parameter values from these and that is what actually makes it uh, very very useful so I'm actually going to just run this process once so you can actually decide to check load layers on completion but actually that will take a lot of time so I'm just going to run then after that I load the layers once they have been uh, they have been uh, clipped so I'm going to click on run and this will take some little bit of time so I'm just going to uh, grab a quick coffee and come back when it's done The algorithm is almost complete so let's wait for it to complete and then we can now go to the next uh, step which is to look at our result the algorithm is complete so let's look at our final results i'm going to click on close here then i'm now going to uncheck the major roads because now we have already clipped them um, all the all the layers so we want to just load uh, the different layers that are, are now available so i'm going to go to layer add layer add vector layer then i'm going to search for now our clipped files which are in the data africa clip rods and you can see all now the clipped rods are here with the uh, with the with the names so I can just decide to say maybe a select Benin rod, open, add, close. And now you can see it has been loaded within Benin. I can add another layer. So I get layer, add layer, add vector layer. I browse and add another layer like maybe say, uh, let's go down, maybe say Ethiopia, rods, open, add close and then i zoom out and then now i have all the rows of ethiopia clipped within ethiopia so i've actually uh, run the clipping process once by using the batch processing algorithm which is very very important in qgis that's it for today's exercise if you found this video useful and you want to learn more on qgis subscribe to my channel don't forget to give this video a thumbs up otherwise i'm just happy you're here See you in my next lesson.